Little Timothy fits right in with his loser friends. He rushes home after school so he can open some dirty tabs, get a quick one out, get his snacks ready, load up a nice bowl of some indica sativa hybrid he's been trying out, pick up the controller, hop into a chat room with his other loser friends that are doing the exact same thing, and together they can waste more of their f***ing lives away. But one day, stoned out of his mind while taking a short break from playing video games, Timothy sees a YouTube video. The video is of Maximus. Maximus was a man approaching his 30s who had taken a separate path from the one chosen by little Timothy and his loser friends. See, Maximus had gone down the path of regular weightlifting, taking care of his diet, identifying his life's purpose, and committing to a financial strategy while embracing failure until something clicked for him. This had allowed Maximus to get to the point where he had millions of dollars, several beautiful women lusting over him, a powerful circle of friends who all looked up to him, and a jawline that could cut through diamond. In that moment, Timothy knew he had to become like Maximus. So Timothy mustered up the courage to put together a plan for self-improvement. Now it wasn't perfect, but it was good enough to give Timothy some big initial changes in life. He was going to start meditating to increase his focus, working out to increase his physical attractiveness, taking cold showers to increase his discipline, and reading to determine how he was going to blow up his bank account. In his new electrifying excitement, Timothy went to go tell his friends about his new plan, but they didn't react how Timothy had hoped. Instead of offering Timothy encouragement and understanding, they would reply, That's so dumb, bro. What are you doing? We need your help out on the battlefield. Come on. Now, as Timothy didn't have a depth of experience in terms of progress within his self-development journey, his pathetic identity still rested with his loser friends. Now, this meant that Timothy had no real tools to resist the attacks from his loser friends about his self-improvement goals. Convinced his friends were right, Timothy once again reached for the Doritos, loaded a bowl of sativa indica hybrid, picked up his controller, and continued to waste his potential. Okay, so here's what you need to learn about Timothy's story. People that you think are your friends will try and talk you out of self-improvement, but this isn't entirely their fault. People are designed to want to fit into a group. On top of that, people don't like when the existing members of their group begin to leave it. And this is because it makes them question their own identities and their own standing within that group. Now you have to understand that as humans, we find our value often in comparison. And when you tell the other crabs in that bucket that your intention is to get out, they will pull you back in. And that's why you're not going to tell anyone. Listen, environment has been scientifically shown to be the biggest factor in behavioral change. Finally, people respect me. And environments are made up of people. Like Timothy, if your friends discourage you early on, you just won't have the steam to become like Maximus, plain and simple. You are going to make your plan to begin to self-improve or continue to self-improve and then execute it in silence. You are not going to be like Timothy and announce your plans to the world. The reality is you don't owe people around you that courtesy. If you tell everyone, you are less likely to accomplish your self-improvement plan that you set because your environment will turn on you. Stop making the mistake that Timothy made. Stop telling anyone about your goals and just chase them. Resist the temptation to share your excitement with people and turn that energy into the actual fuel that you need to get the thing done. This is the key that I don't hear anybody else talking about. So use this key to become rich, focused, disciplined, attractive, and powerful, just like Maximus. Now, if you're someone who's just getting into self-improvement, you might have no idea what this is all aimed at. You know that you want a better life, but you don't know exactly what that really means. Well, that's why I made a video to help you figure out the exact direction that you want to take your life as a young man. In about 10 seconds, I'm going to put that video up on your screen. And if you're serious about becoming like Maximus, I know that you'll check it out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Spencer with Must Become. Always remember that your potential is your obligation, and so what you can become, you must become.